The move by the Toronto-based platform Plenty Waka to take over one of Ghana's leading mobility startups, Starbucks Ghana, forms part of its plans to build the largest shared mobility platform on the African continent. Plenty Waka is a bus booking app which provides commuters with a one-stop booking portal for reliable bus transportation. Starbus, on the other hand, is a shared mobility platform whose services include daily bus stop to bus stop transportation as well as providing staff bus solutions for several companies. Already, Plenty Waka operates in neighboring country Nigeria and currently has over 80,000 users. Following the merger of these two businesses in Ghana, Starbus will now be known as Plenty Waka Ghana with the mobility platform offering a range of low-cost and premium vehicles, including cars, minivans, and buses for public transportation. Co-founder of Plenty Waka, Johnny Inagwolo, explains to City Business News how the app works. Now, from the Plenty Waka app, you will be able now to, uh, from the comfort of your home, before you go to work, or from the comfort of your office when you're going back home, you can now see the available buses on the road coming to your bus stop. And when you see that, you can now book your trip after you have funded what you call your wakapos, all right, with the, the fair amounts now. You can now see the number of buses, number of seats, choose your seat on the bus and book your um, seat. And you know the estimated time of arrival. It will take the bus to get to your bus stop. So what, basically what we do, before it gets uh, three bus stops away, it's already notifying you that the bus is three bus stops away. When it gets to this uh, two bus stops away, it notifies you. When it gets to your final uh, two, one bus stop away, it notifies you again. All right. And that just gives you a check to actually make you hurry up to the bus stop. In recent times, where security has become a topical issue in Ghana, how safe is it to patronize this platform? So when we talk about safety, what is paramount is um, you being able to identify the vehicle or the bus you are taking and be able to track, um, have a track record of that vehicle even on the system. You know, knowing who the driver is, being able to track the driver, where the driver leaves, leaves and all of that. Um, basically what we do in Plenty Worker is that um, from a user point perspective, before you even register, there are a couple of informations that are required of you. Your name, Z of bed, your address, and all that blah, 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 that you have to put on the app and put why, uh, why you are registering as a new user. Um, from the driver's beat, we capture the driver's name, driver's phone number, um, the vehicle type, color, um, vehicle number, and all of that. Isidore Potifi, the co-founder and CEO of Starbucks Ghana, explained to City Business News how the introduction of the Plenty Waka app fuses into government's agenda to create jobs for Ghanaians. Now, the second thing is that we are providing direct jobs and indirect jobs. So indirect jobs, we are going to help a lot of these uh, truck, truck drivers who acquire buses from our partners, you know, and, and, and then and hopefully pay for them over time. That's, in, that's indirect job creation. I'm sure the government is willing to provide jobs for the people. And if we, so we are, if they identify with creating jobs for the people, which I believe they do, you know, then they are, they'll be willing to work with us. Um, there are many other ways that I believe that our service has leverage compared to the other players that you mentioned, like the ride hailing you know, people. They're just putting people in, the, in one person in the car, drive. That's not good. It's creating more traffic. It's, cr it's creating more congestions. It's creating more COT emissions. But we, I think that with our service, it's unique in many ways. It has social, economic, and uh, environmental impact.